Hey everybody, it's me, Megs, and I'm here to do my perfect eyebrow routine for 2015. This is the style of brow I've always kind of loved and adored. A very full, well not too full, but a nice framed brow for my face. So the very first thing I did do, I do do my brows in the middle of my foundation routine. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check that out in the description below. I'm going to use a spoolie by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And it's kind of like a spoolie duo. And it has like an angle brush on the end. So I'm going to brush my brows into place um, just to tame the brows. And now I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in chocolate. You want to use kind of like a brown toned um, pencil and this is a retractable pencil and it glides so smooth and this color is great because I don't want it too too dark I don't want to look scary like a cookie monster so I'm using a brown color to fill in my brows and I'm actually kind of overdrawing my brows because my natural brows are a little um, thin and I kind of like a really nice full Aaliyah-esque brow. So I'm kind of overdrawing the top part. And I'm going to bring my tail down using small strokes like this. Because I don't want to go too heavy at first. I want to kind of gradually build up the shape of my brow. So I'm making small, small strokes um, in the areas that I feel I want to be more defined and more... Um, you know, just more fabulous. <laughs> so I'm extending my tail right now using small strokes again. And this pencil by far is the best pencil for my brows I have ever used ever. I just love, love, love using this brow pencil. Or brow whiz, I should say. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and now focus on the inner part of my brows using small, small strokes. I don't want to do a square at this point because I don't like that, but that's just me. You know, it's whatever your brow preference. So I'm making small strokes in the front and then pulling it into the rest of the brow. And so then I'm just kind of touching up wherever I feel necessary just, you know, touching up the tail to make sure that my brows are somewhat even. But I don't want them like twins, but I want them like kind of like cousins, like close first cousins. <laughs> so um, I'm just trying to make sure that my brows are perfect how I like them. Like that. So now I'm going to go t ahead and take my spoolie again and just kind of blend in the um, pencil. And just make sure everything's kind of blended to soften it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow. Is this called Dip Brow? I think it is. If not, I'm going to have all the names of the products I use in the description below. But I'm going to put this directly on top of the pencil. And this color again is chocolate. If it's the Dip Brow, <laughs> pomade or pomade. And I'm going to use like kind of like an, a small kind of flat, pen, uh, not pencil brush, but like um, brush to kind of sweep in that pomade into my brows. Just to, you know, I feel like this just adds a little extra to uh, the brows that I absolutely love. It gives it a more, a, you know, more of a pop, you know. So I'm just going to kind of lightly stroke in this. Uh, pomade into my brows. I'm not going to go too heavy with this because I used to go really really heavy with the pomade or the pomade however you want to pronounce it and it used to look like not cool. <laughs> so again I'm going to blend out all the product together like this because I don't want it too too harsh even though it is looking very harsh now but it's going to you know lighten up a little bit. Now I'm going to use my Studio Fix uh, no, Studio Finish Concealer. Is it Studio? Yeah, Studio Finish Concealer, child. And NC45. And I'm going to clean up the bottom half of my brow just to make that under brow area very crispy and very defined. Just like you got a fresh wax. And um, I know some people are like, ooh, that looks kind of harsh. But this is another way I do my brow highlight to have that kind of golden creamy color. So I really like using NC45 at that part. 
um, under the brow. And then I'm going to use my um, beauty blender and blend out the concealer just a little bit. And for the top part of my brow, because I don't want a halo, you know, you don't want no halo on the top part of your brow. So I'm going to use my foundation and I'm going to clean up the top part of my brow with a concealer brush. And this just allows the, you know, me to clean up the top area without having that bright cast over the brows that isn't very flattering, especially in pictures. Oh goodness, it's terrible. And I've made that mistake early on in my eyebrow life. So we don't want to make those mistakes. So just use your uh, foundation to clean up the top part of your brow. And it will blend in, you know, effortlessly. So I'm just going to take my time to get it as sharp and clean as I want. You know what? Who is who is out? Somebody get them. Police. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the other brow and I like them I'm like mm, these look cute you know and I'm just gonna blend out the um goodness gracious who is out like really <laughs> and now I'm gonna um kind of lighten up the inner part of my brow using a little bit of the foundation and dabbing it into my brows that I filled in. This just helps create like a gradient and I don't want that boxy look so that's why I'm going to put a little bit of that um, foundation that was on my brush and sweep it into my brow. Lastly, I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Gel and I absolutely love this. It allows your brow hairs to become more defined within, you know, your, you know, brow routine. So it doesn't look just like flat and one dimensional with just color. It lets your eyebrow hairs pop and uh, show. So I absolutely love this. It keeps my brows in place. Like, you know, if you feel in your brows and you have those little stray hairs, it keeps them in place just like this. Um, so yeah, that is my eyebrow routine if you guys do have any questions feel free to ask me down in the comment area and i will try to answer those for you and as well there will be a full product listing of everything that i used down in the description below and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later